What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week four of the GBA season four against the Milwaukee Salzbuck division rivals. We are both 0 and 3 teams. Whether or not I think that is reflective of our actual skill in this and all that fun stuff, I don't know. But I'm going to hit battle start and we're going to do this. If you guys are curious about my team, please watch the locker room week four where I go over all my sets and why I brought what I brought. Let's see what he brought. Gardevoir, Suicune, Electros, Donphan, Landorus T, and Crawdont. So almost exactly what I predicted, except I predicted Latios, not Line, uh, Landorus T, but that's okay. The important thing is the Pokemon that he brought are Pokemon that I am prepared to deal with. Now, if it were one of these two, I would be prepared for which lead it, but since he brought both, I don't think he's going to lead with Donphan. I think he's going to lead with Landorus. I need to scout and see what kind of set Landorus is, and I think the best way to do that is to lead with Ditto. Ditto also serves the purpose of being very good as a lead against all of these guys. Uh, he's not great against Gardevoir, and he might want an early turn setup. However, neither of us will be one-hit KOing each other, and I'm happy to be a Gardevoir also. Um, against Crawdont, that'd be a strange lead, but possible. So Ditto is going to be my lead this time around. The rest of these folks are just going to be joining us just for the ride, just coming in for the ride. Mag makes his picks so fast, he always does that. I'm so, I'm nerve-sided again, guys, the word's coming back. I've done everything possible to try and get my internet nice and stable for this one. Reset the router, reset my computer, turn the DS on and off, and uh, turn my phone on airplane mode. So let's see how we do. He's going to lead with Electros, so I'm glad that I led with the, uh, I'm glad that I led with the Ditto. I'm going to get the Imposter off, and I'm also going to be an Electros. So, we're going to get to see his set right away. He has Giga Drain, so he was anticipating that I bring the Mega Swamper. He's got Volt Switch, Flamethrower, Knockoff, the exact set of four moves I predicted he would have. Um, now, he's probably going to go for a Knockoff, trying to remove my Choice Scarf. I don't really want anyone to get knocked off. I really didn't want... Ditto to get knocked off either. However, I am all about Electros getting knocked off. So let's exchange knockoffs real quick. He goes for the knockoff, sees my lefties. I go for the knockoff and see his assault vest. Expert belt. Interesting. So he's an offensive set. Nothing wrong with that. Now, he won the speed tie. Law of Numbers suggests I'll win the next speed tie. Whether or not it's worth it for me to actually go for a Volt Switch here, I'm not sure. I mean, Bunny Sword will pretty much just eat it out. There's no point in him. He's going to go for a Volt Switch here. So I'll go for a Volt Switch too. No, because he has two Ground-type Pokemon. I'm going to go for the Giga Drain here. He's going to go for the knockoff again, predicting the switch. That's going to do significantly less damage as I go for the Giga Drain, and that's going to do more damage than he did to me, and it's going to recover my health a little bit. So I'm kind of in the better situation here. If this Electros goes down, I am stoked. Um, I'm going to go for it again. He has an option to go for a good switch here. I go for the Giga Drain, I outspeed him this time, putting him in the red zone. He might be going for a Giga Drain too, and his will do a little bit more damage, but uh, I have less health, so... <laughs> We're just Giga Draining back and forth here. This is going to be a very interesting situation. He's opting to stay in. I could go for another Giga Drain, but also what I could do here is switch in Gudra, and at this range I'm pretty sure I could kill Electros, and I would get an attack boost on Bunny Bunnysaur in the process. Leaving Ditto around to battle again another day if I need him to. I can't let Ditto get too hurt, actually. That's kind of the problem here. I really, I really need to keep Ditto at least kind of healthy. Let's make sure I'm not making a huge mistake here. Because I could switch... You know what? I could switch in Fox here and he would eat up a Grass-type attack. But if he goes for the Volt Switch, I'm not going to be pleased. Bunny Sword will eat up any of those moves. I'm going to switch in Bunny Sword here. Hopefully in the process, uh, I'm going to get an attack boost here. He does go for the Giga Drain. I do sap sip that bad boy right up. Now, 
Electros is not in a good place. He's not going to survive any of the attacks I opt to go for here. Um, Mega Gardevoir won't appreciate a Sludge Bomb. Donphan won't appreciate a Special Attack. Suicune won't appreciate a Thunderbolt, but he will be okay with a with a Sludge Bomb. But if Suicune comes in, I'm just going to Dragon Tail him out. So I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb here. It's the safest play. Uh, I predict that he's probably going to hard switch because he knows I'm going to outspeed him. I mean, I'm not speed invested on this bunny sword, but Electros is slow. -ho. Super, super slow. I'm not going to overthink this. I think Sludge Bomb should kill Electros at this range. I would appreciate a poison on pretty much anything. He does not have a steel type, so I'm free to go for poison at my whim. If he predicts a dragon type attack and goes straight into Gardevoir, un Mega Evolve, that would be fantastic for me. So I think he's doing a calc right now to see blah, how much damage he can take. He is going to hard withdraw, saving Electros for another day. And he's going to go into Air Flood. If I get the poison here, that would be fantastic. Really, really good if I got, the, uh, if I got it right here. I'm going to hit him with a Sludge Bomb. And we get the poison. That's great. That's really good. We see leftovers, we're going to see some trickled poison damage. Here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go for, shoot, he might be going right away for a Calm Mind, but he also might be trying to go for a double switch to get a safe switch into a ground type Pokemon. The immediate disconnect from the server, okay. Okay challengers, we're back and as I wanted to do in the first place, we are now on Pokemon Showdown, we are much less likely to uh, have any connection issues here. We have put, we put ourselves in the same positions we were in before. I did not get the poison hacks on Suicune, but not much I can do about that, you know what I mean? So now we come to the question of do I think he's going to switch into one of his numerous ground types against the scouting for Thunderbolt at this point? And while I'm sure I don't know, It would be unfortunate if he went for a Scald here and got the burn on me, but you know what? It would be more unfortunate if he started trying to set up. You know, I'm just going to go for the Dragon Tail here. <clears throat> he does go for the Scald. It does next to nothing. He doesn't get the burn. I get a Dragon Tail, and he is not in a good place right now. Unfortunately, I switch in Crawdont, pretty much the only thing I did not want to get switched in in a circumstance like this. Uh, a knockoff will absolutely ruin a good amount of my team including GLaDOS, who... Shoot. So that was, like, the one Pokemon I didn't want to get switched in in this circumstance, to be honest. GLaDOS can come in, uh, get the Intimidate off, and see that a knockoff from a... Depends what item he's carrying, and this is kind of a good opportunity for me to scout. If he gets a knockoff on me and he doesn't have a power boosting item, it should only do 50 to 59%. It's not safe for me to stay in with Gudra. He's gonna absolutely wreck shop. Stop everything. Thunderbolt. I outspeed this Crawdont. I can murder it with a Thunderbolt. I guess I should double check this. I really should double check. His max speed is 117. My speed is 113. If he's Jolly Max, eesh. I should have looked into this a little bit more. If he's Jolly Max speed, he will outspeed me. He is going to switch out straight into Suicune, actually, and take that Thunderbolt not well, not nicely. Um, I'm going to scout up here and see. I hit the Suicune for 23% with my Sludge Bomb last time. I think the Suicune might opt to go for a rest here. Uh, it was scouting to see, I guess, whether or not I had the Thunderbolt. I think it thinks I didn't since I went for the Dragon Tail last time. 45% with a super effective Thunderbolt. I don't think he can safely get a rest off here, so I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt again. That does give him the opportunity to get a free switch into He's actually going to sack the Suicune, which is incredible for me. Incredible. I needed that Suicune dead. 
Um, if this exact matchup had been going this way um, for me and I had Mega Swampert, this would be even better right now because he's losing, he's quickly losing the two Pokemon that were the biggest threat to my team. He switches into Gardevoir here. Now. Now. Gardevoir. Gardevoir does not one-shot me. And I have Sludge Bomb. And I think the right thing to do here is to put serious pressure on this Gardevoir right away with a Sludge Bomb. This Bunny Sword is a problem for his team. Uh, it's one of my only true safe switch-ins to the Electros. But my word, Gardevoir is a problem. A massive problem. You know what, I did not count Gardevoir as a 252 Modest. But... I'm not switching here. He's gonna go for a Hyper Voice. I don't have anyone that wants to take it. I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. I'm a Salt Vest. He doesn't know that I'm a Salt Vest. He's gonna go for a Substitute, scouting to see that I have the Sludge Bomb, and that's gonna take out his sub. Good thing I didn't switch there. That could have been very bad. I'm gonna opt to go for the Sludge Bomb again here. He does not have a resist for it anywhere. Uh, he's gonna switch out. And I'm gonna get a minus one attack on me, and I'm gonna get a poison on this therian? No, I do not. No, I do not. That did not do a lot. Um, I know that it res he's resisting it, um, but I am curious. I gotta do a quick check here. Gudra's OU Assault Vest. I, not too different from that, so that should be okay. Landorus T. Um, the Sludge Bomb did 12% to him which is less than I'd expect. So he's got some specially defensive investment, which is worth noting. Maybe enough to survive an Ice Beam, I'm not entirely sure. Can I survive an Earthquake from this guy? Can I survive an Earthquake? I think I can survive an Earthquake if he's not, we don't know his item, but we did not see, we did not see lefties. I think it's an offensive set. Two chains could come in. Do I want to just mess with two chains like this? Suicune is dead, so Psych Up is not useful anymore. If I predict the Earthquake, two chains is the best person to come in. He could get Rocks Up right now. So you know what? Then let's go into... The best Pokemon to go into right now is Remix. I'm going to get the Intimidate off, and he's going to go for an Earthquake. And that's going to do absolutely nothing to me. He's got Hidden Power. Hidden Power. Uh, probably Hidden Power Grass. Potentially Hidden Power Fire. Um, he's got Earthquake and Rock Slide. And he is intimidated, whereas I am not intimidated. Now, the big thing here is that he does not have Rock. He does not have Rocks here. Um... He still doesn't have rocks. If he were to go for an attack to try and kill this ditto, he would go for a rock slide. And Proto could take that, but I'm that there's a risk that hidden power is hidden power dark. Decisions, guys. Decisions here. Uh, u turns gonna do next to nothing to him. Like, it really just will not hit him hard. It, these two do not hurt each other. They don't hurt each other at all. Um, my calcs have that Stone Edge, not Rock Slide. This is going to be a safe switch in for me against this Landorus a lot. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. Two Chains is kind of tanky, and this Landorus... We've seen him do Earthquake. That's the only attack we've seen him do since he switched in, so we... He might be choiced. If he is, he's certainly switching right now. And U-turn would give me some momentum. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to U-turn here. If he hard switches, he doesn't. He stays in. So that didn't do a lot. That did 14%. I mean, he could be U-turning too. I'm going to go into GLaDOS, and I'm going to give him another Intimidate. Because if he is switching moves... I mean, he could be a salt vest. 
if he's not switching moves that, and like and predicting that I was going to switch, then Earthquake wouldn't hit GLaDOS. At minus two, I don't really fear that Rock Slide all that much. Uh, that gives me a chance to Dragon Dance, and no one on his team is really going to be appreciative of that. So let's do that. Let's put him at a minus two with this GLaDOS. He's going to go for the U-turn also, and he's going to get the slower U-turn off. So, unfortunately, GLaDOS' counter is going to come in right now. We're going to have to see who that is. My money's on Gardevoir. And that would be a really good switch if it's Gardevoir, especially if it has Thunderbolt. Because then I am in just a whole mess of trouble. I've If he switches into Gardevoir right now... Man. I can't switch. If he switches into Gardevoir, I have to stay in, and I have to go for Waterfall. And the reason for that is if he goes for a Substitute. We know he has Substitute. Um, if he has Thunderbolt, he's going to outspeed me. Mega Gardevoir outspeeds GLaDOS, unfortunately. Regular Gardevoir doesn't, but, um, yeah, we're gonna have to see. He could be curious about getting rocks up with the Dawn fan. There's the Dawn fan. So part of me really wants to go straight into Remix here. Um, then I can start playing the rock slide games and things like that. What I know about this Dawn fan is that a... He might pack Thunderfang and Stone Edge are all potential options. If, my prediction of his move pool is Stealth Rocks, Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Ice Shard. But I'm curious. I could switch in Remix now and see exactly what he's got. There's no way he's going for an Earthquake right out the gate. That would just be bizarre. What could I do here? I could get Fox in right now, but the risk there is that he might be going for a rock slide. I don't even know whether or not he has it, and Fox does not want to take a rock slide. Not at all. I really don't want these rocks in here. I think I might I might just have to go straight away for the waterfall. I could go for a dragon dance first. I think a plus one no, because two waterfalls is better. Let's go for the Waterfall here. Uh, that does a decent amount. He does go for the Rock Slide, and he misses the Rock Slide. So that's a Hacks. That is a very unfortunate Hacks that he's going for right now. But I know that it won't kill me. I know that Rock Slide doesn't kill me. I can go for the Dragon Dance here. I know that the next Waterfall will kill, and that also puts me in a position to outspeed other people next round. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance here. He's going to go for another Rock Slide. It's going to hit me super effective. Another one probably won't kill me, actually. That does less damage than I thought. He must be fully defensively invested. I know my next Waterfall will kill. He doesn't have anyone who wants to take a Waterfall right now, but he could switch in Landorus. Landorus T. Um, I wouldn't be at minus one. I'd be at neutral. Uh... Let's go with the... Why am I still holding my stylus? I'm still holding my stylus, guys, from when we started the battle earlier. I'm seeing here... Okay. I can go for the Ice Fang, and but the thing is that I don't think it'll kill the Dawn Fan. It could. I'm not really going to calc it, but no matter what, that's going to resist it. It's going to do the most damage to Waterfall. It's going to do the most damage to Waterfall. We're going to go for a Waterfall here. We'll see what he's going to do. He's going to switch out into Electros to take that. He's going to sack the Electros. Potentially for a free switch into Landorus. To get a minus one on me. Potentially into Gardevoir. He really wants to keep that Dawn Fan around, but... the yeah, Crawdont. So, we're thinking Sashed Crawdont. We're thinking an Earthquake will bring it down to its Sash. Knock Off will kill me. But let's do it. We gotta get put Hurt on this Crawdont. Uh, wow. Wow. Way to go, Crawdont. That guy's 
freaking bulky. So Crawdaunt, a plus one Earthquake, how much did that do? 76% plus one Earthquake. With my current Gara set, let's do something here. Um, oh, I might have calced that with a Life Orb. Let's see. Plus one against a Craw DZ. I mean, I would have gone for that no matter what. That was the move I, I needed to go for in that circuit. Yeah, that's that's in the range. It's a low roll, but it's in the range. So he's probably just a standard set. Unfortunately, we don't get to see exactly how much damage that did from the Craw Daunt. But we can find out right now whether or not Scissor's Bullet Punch will kill him. Because we know that we are 252 attack and 252 that and bullet punch will do 17 to 20 percent not a kill but uh, two chains will outspeed him because two chains is as fast as my glados and two chains can kill him with an energy ball which is super effective actually ice beam might kill him no i'm not going to risk that not going to risk that at all. Two chains is going to come in. Now, I could have gone into Fox there, who definitely would have killed the Crawdump, but I didn't want to give him the option to just pull out a uh, an Aqua Jet on me for, for additional damage. And I think just staying in here and going for the Energy Ball is the best bet. He could switch into the Gardevoir. That's a risk I'm going to have to take, unfortunately. Gardevoir actually, who, hold on. Psyshock is going to consistently break Gardevoir's sub, so that's okay. Let's go for the Energy Ball here. He could go for the, um... Yeah, I'm going to outspeed him so he can't get a Dark-type attack off. His Water-type stab will do something to 2 Chains, but 2 Chains is pretty bulky, so I'm actually in a pretty good spot right now. I've lost my first Pokémon in Gyarados. Gyarados went down to Crawdaunt. He's going to switch into Landorus Therian. Get that Intimidate off. That's not bad. Um, we still don't know whether or not I outspeed this guy, but we know... Hidden Power is not going to hit me very hard because this guy does not have the best special attack unless he's invested in it. But if he's invested in it, if he's not invested in something else, I could potentially outspeed this guy depending. I do have some speed investment of my own. Earthquake's not going to do anything. I'm levitating. Rock Slide's not a stab, and though it'll hit me hard, it won't kill me. Uh, 57 is the highest damage I see him doing to me. That's with a U-turn. Oosh, I forgot about the U-turn. Remix could come in, intimidate him. He's going for the U-turn. This it could be an okay time for me to scout whether or not he has speed investment. I'm curious what item he has. It might be Expert Belt. That would do a lot, a fully invested Expert Belt U-turn, and then you could switch into, I don't even know, pretty much anything. I think that would do too much. I don't see him going for the Rock-type attack. Fox could come in, eat up the U-turn. I would not outspeed the... I would not outspeed the Mega Gardevoir. Moltres is really in a weird situation where it's not actually that useful right now. He would go into Crawdaunt, though, and Crawdaunt would one-hit KO me, I'm pretty sure. Aqua Jet would not one-hit KO me, actually, even with a Life Orb, which I know he doesn't have. Could be Expert Belt, also. He <laughs> could be so many things. Fox is pretty much just not useful. Like, he's a weird middle-of-the-match kind of Pokémon. Let's, uh... It's a difficult decision here, but I'm not seeing where Fox is going to be really useful outside of a situation kind of like this. Let's switch into Fox. I can start throwing around burns. If he goes for a U-turn, yeah, it's not going to do anything to me. He's going to get a free switch into Crawdaunt.
which gives me a couple of options if he switches into Crawdon. You could also switch into the Gardevoir right now. It really depends what he wants to do here. What does he want? What is he fearing and what does he want? What's up with my team to him? So, let's play it through all he's thinking. I don't think he predicted that the Fox would come in. He's probably going to fall No, he goes into Dawn Fan. Dawn Fan, um, as I recall, is pretty much murdered by either of my moves. I could go for the Willow here. He could go for the Ice Shard. Does he want to free switch? I think he wants a free switch and he wants to scout my item. I could go for the Willow. I don't need rocks at this point. He wants a free switch into Crawdon, I think. And he's not... No, he doesn't. Why didn't he just go straight into Crawdon? We gotta go for the Air Slash here. I'm not, I want the most accurate move I can have. I hit the Air Slash. He sees the Life Orb. Now he's gonna feel confident switching into Gardevoir, who I'm pretty sure can't kill me at, at the range I'm at right now. He could switch back into Landorus Therian, hope to outspeed now that he knows that I'm Life Orb, so he doesn't know whether or not I'm faster than him. He could switch into Crawdont, try and kill me with an Aqua Jet. Again, it depends on his item. We haven't seen his item. We haven't seen Life Orb. Um, we haven't seen him switch moves. We've only ever seen him attack and, and leave. So given that... It, I mean, there's any number of things that he could be, you know? Skype. You want Mr. Danza message me on Skype. Hi, Danza. You're an analyst. I know you're watching this. No, you're probably... <laughs> He's actually probably going to watch Magnitude's one because Magnitude does the, uh, the recaps and they're faster. So that's fine. But if you are watching... Hi, Danza. He's going to switch into Crawdaunt. And now might be the best time to say goodbye to Fox. Fox is fast. We don't know that he's faster than Landorus. At 52%, we know that two chains can kill Landorus. We know that two chains can kill Crawdont. And Gardevoir needs to get handed by Proto. Proto is for nothing else other than killing that Gardevoir. So... Remix is a good switch into Landorus Therian. He has to go for the Aqua Jet here and hope that it kills, and it might not. It won't kill if he's Focus Sash. If he's Adamant 252 Focus Sash, it won't kill. So let's go for the Air Slash here. He goes to the Aqua Jet, he was Focus Sash. We go for the Air Slash, kill the Crawdont, I take some damage from Life Orb. I might even be able to try and get some good, uh, try and get a 5-0 win here, but it depends. Gardevoir will outspeed. Gardevoir comes in. So we have to let Gardevoir take this, unfortunately. Because um, if he got a sub up right now, he could win the whole game. I can't allow that. I have to let Box go down. We're going to go for the Air Slash here, hope for no miss. He's, I can't decide whether or not he's going to substitute right now or just go for the kill. It's a tough call on his end. Does he want to mitigate how much he loses by, or does he want to win outright? He's going to go for the Hidden Power. It's not very effective, so he might have been predicting a switch. That's Hidden Power Fire. So he was predicting the Proto Switch in with that HP fire. But now I get a free switch into Proto as he will likely switch into Landorus. So probably a better move. No, I, ha I still have to go into Proto. I have to go into Proto. He goes into Landorus. I switch Remix in as he U-turns. And then he, shoot. I'm actually in a little bit of a problem here. Two chains can't do much. Bunny Soar can do a lot. Bunny Soar is the right move here because I can just shoot off. He's not going to be able to kill me with any one move right now. I can shoot off a Sludge Bomb and do a hell of a lot of damage to Landorus Therian right now. If he opts to switch. I could go for the Ice Beam, but 
it's not safe. <laughs> it's not safe. That's why. Um, could get the poison on Landorus too. So yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go for a Sludge Bomb here. It's likely that he'll switch, but we're playing smart. He's gonna go straight for the Hyper Voice. I guess hoping for a crit. Um, I don't kill with the Sludge Bomb. That's a problem. Um, I predicted that would do more. So he's got a little bit more HP investment than I anticipated because my minimum damage roll that I calculated was... No, never mind. I did that wrong. I typed it in the wrong number. Um, that's okay, though. I had to do that. Uh, Bunny Sword doesn't match up well against Landorus anyway. And he's done what he needs to do. He's going to get outsped by both opponents. Either of them are in kill range. So Bunny Sword goes down to Mega Gardevoir. He actually, you know what, thinking about this, he could play this very well right now. I thought he was going to switch out there. Um, but he actually can make a comeback here. Two chains, though, I don't believe can get one shot. And I pretty sure can do 15% to him um, with a Psy Shock. So let's do two chains here. I could do Proto and go straight for the Bullet Punch, but I think the switch into Landorus is too obvious. Yeah, so let's do two chains. We'll see whether or not he wants Ops to sack Gardevoir or not. I think he's going to stay in and go for it here. I'm going to go for the Psy Shock. Which, at this range, should kill. He could switch into Landorus and take the Psy Shock. If he's bulky variant, he'll take it relatively well. But um, if he switches into that, I'm just going to switch into Remix. He's going to go for the Hyper Voice. That does a good amount of damage. I'm going to go for the Psy Shock and finish him off. He switches into Landorus here as I switch into my uh, Remix to get the <laughs> to get the Intimidate off. It's all about playing it safe right now, guys. Safety is the name of the game. Scizor, how much damage do you take? I'm curious about this guy's hidden power, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I just I don't see it being anything other than grass. I see this being his switch into Mega Swampert. Um, But maybe not. <laughs> I don't. I don't know, guys. We're just trying to play. We're just trying to play it smart here. He could go for the U-turn, which would do nothing at all to the Landorus and nothing at all to the to the to Proto. But it would do something to two chains. It would do a lot to two chains. Here comes Ditto. Gets that Intimidate off on him. He's going to go for the U-turn. Uh, that did not do much at all. I could feel safe switching into Proto now. And then I could go for... I, I just really do not hit him hard with anything. Bullet Punch would not kill him. Would not do a lot at all. Rock Slide won't do much either. Um... The thing is, <laughs> mm, I would like another Intimidate on this guy just to really seal the victory. I don't see him one-shotting me with anything. I'm going to switch in Scizor as he goes for a Rock Slide. Still does a decent amount. We're going to go back into Remix and get another Intimidate off and scout whether or not that Hidden Power is Hidden Power 5. Switch in again. Get the second attack drop. There's the hidden power, so it probably is hidden power fire because we see that it hits neutral. If that were grass, no, it could be grass still. But he wouldn't have gone for a hidden power against a proto like that. So that was certainly hidden power fire. Um, I could go for a rock slide here at minus two for him. I don't see him killing me back. How am I? Oh, because I copy his attack. I copy his stat boost, so he was at minus one, uh, I'm at minus one, he's now at minus two. That's okay, though. Um, 
two chains. I want to be in a position where he can survive something, go for an ice beam, because I'm not, guys, actually thinking about it, now that I know that he has hidden power fire, I'm not in a good spot. Because if two chains gets out sped and Landorus has an attack that can kill two chains, then I lose. Um, because Proto can't kill at the range he's at with a bullet punch right now. So I don't really know what I can do here. How much did that hidden power do? It did 16%. 17%. Let's go for a rock slide here. He's gonna go for the hidden power and kill me. He outspeeds. <sighs> he could win. He could still win this. Two chains. You've got, you've got to do it for me here, buddy. Finish him off with an ice beam. Can you survive? I live it! Oh my god, I live it! Okay. <sighs> that comeback would have been so real, guys. That comeback would have been so real. The San Francisco Giants pick up their first win. Oh my god, Landorus T. I never predicted he would have been the threat that he turned out to be. Especially thinking that he was offensive set. My goodness, Steve played that late game so well. Wow. I'm going to hop on Skype and check him out too. Um, here's what I'm going to do, guys. When this video goes up, I'm going to leave a link to Magnitude. If you guys don't know Magnitude already and you're on my channel, I just cannot. I, you're lying to me. I don't believe you for even a second. He's a really fun battler, guys. I mean, you saw that late game comeback potential. He had an amazing team. I'd run some math in my head and thought that I had the match way earlier than I did. But he played those last turns so perfectly. And, you know, I might have made a mistake or two here and there. But either way, I'll show, I'll give a link to his side of the battle when it goes up. Check out the GBA official Twitter, the official WordPress website, and the official YouTube channel. Links to all of that is going to be in the description down below. San Francisco Giantes finally net a win, guys. Finally net a win. We're back on the board. We're back on the board. As always, my name is Gym Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.